Cobra. Coming up in this week's episode, we learn more about the legend that was Carol Shelby, hear what AST has to say about his Cobra, see what our club members have been up to, talk to club member Mike about his build, take superstar Nadine for her first ride in a Cobra, tell you how you can win a Cobra, join the club as we give away something special to one of our viewers. Welcome to King Cobra TV. In 1954, Shelby met Austin Martin's team manager John Wire, who asked him to drive in their DBR3 at Sebring. Although the DBR3 could not finish the race due to a broken axle, this encounter would lead to many European races including Le Mans, where Shelby had one of his devastating crashes. Later driving with Donald Healy and his team of drivers, they set 17 new records of which Shelby set 17 on his own. This would lead to another devastating crash while he was driving in the Carrera Panamericana. After undergoing eight months of operations, he continued racing in 1955, winning a further 10 races, including a second place showing at Sebring, driving a Ferrari Monza. He continued driving for Ferrari, where he won a further 30 races, and in 1956 started driving for John Edgar, which would lead to him opening up Carroll Shelby Sports Cars in Dallas. Join us next time as we learn a little bit more about the incredible life of the legend that was Carroll Shelby. Now let's see some videos our members sent us from their runs. Hi guys, my name is Situpo, you can call me ST for short. I'm a proud Cobra owner and a proud Cobra Club member. I've been an owner for just over 10 months and I've been a member ever since. My family really enjoy having this baby in the garage. We love the experience and I would like you to join in on that experience too. If you want to be part of it, stay glued to those screens and join us for the next few episodes to come. Let's talk to Cobra Club member Mike about his build. All right, so today we've got Magic Mike, um, engine builder extraordinaire. Mike, so first of all, um, your accent, where are you from? I'm from Russia. So. I believe the Russians build good motors. Um, I hope this motor that you've built is a good one. I see this is a 427 Chevy motor. Guys, find 427 anonymous with Ford. How come we've got a Chevy 427? We just wanted to piss off some uh, Ford guys and stuff a four-inch crank into a gym performance block. 
we bought the uh, barrels 4 inch which gave us 4 inch stroke 4 inch bore which comes to 427 cubic inches so when you upgrade a motor from a 350 to 383 to 427 I assume it's all about the horses so what is the difference between a stroke 383 and a 427 uh, look the stroke is quite significantly significantly bigger sorry for my Russian <laughs> and uh, it actually boils down to amount of torque that engine produces uh, versus the RPM so if you got a bigger stroke bigger bore uh, bigger torque and bigger horsepower at the end and with a highly breathing hit high rise a single play manifold I think this package can develop quite uh, quite good horsepower we were, we were happy with the package which gave us on the dyno 550 horsepower brake horsepower is about 770 newton meter torque um, technically you can say it is not shaped because it's built on aftermarket block with aftermarket heads, with aftermarket crank, everything is aftermarket forged, um, you name it. Let's see how you can win your very own Cobra. So guys and girls, imagine this. You wake up on the 12th of Jan, 2023. You hear a loud noise outside your house. You open up the curtains, you look outside, and here's the most beautiful Cobra car parked in your driveway, and you've won it. So this car behind me, this beautiful blazing orange Cobra with the 351 Ford Windsor motor and a three-speed gearbox. We're currently building this car and we're giving it away on the 11th of January in celebration of the great man himself, Carol Shelby. It would have been his 100th birthday and we're giving away this car to one lucky person. And how can you win this car? Very simple. You buy a ticket online for 100 Rand. And I promise you it will be the best 100 Rand you've ever spent. 100 Rand only will get you into a lucky draw. And as they always say, you have to be in it to win it. And how can you win this car? You go onto cobraclub.co.za's website and follow the prompts. Very simple. Get your ticket in. The lucky draw will take place on Carol Shelby's birthday, 11th of January and the winner will be notified the next day. I hope you win. After the break, we talk to Singer Nadine about her car history, tell you how you can join the Cobra Club of South Africa, and give away a special prize to one lucky viewer. Cobra. With Megs. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's segment of Win With Megs. My name is Megan Dupria and this week I'm giving away a steel plated logo Cobra cap from cobrashop.co.za. To get your hands on this beauty, all you need to do is SMS the word King Cobra TV and your name to 076-5885-487. Good luck! Over the past few episodes, we had a lot of thorns in, in studio and presented a lot of, I would say thorns, and today we've got a rose. Thank Nadine, you. welcome to the show. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'm so happy to be, I'm super excited, and it's just lovely standing next to a Cobra that is in the making. It's very exciting. We, we're going to talk a, a little bit about the car, but before we get to that, let's talk about Nadine. So, you started your musical career. First of all, you were born in Durban. Um, I was. <laughs> I think a lot of people don't know that. Um, a Durbanite. And True. do you support the Sharks? I don't. I don't. I've been living no, in Pretoria. No, no. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. We'll, we'll cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I've been living in Pretoria for way too long. Okay, so, so you're a big Stormer supporter. No, I'm, I'm, no I can't high five to that. I'm a blue ball supporter. <laughs> so you, you started your musical career at the tender age of 14 and not giving away your age you've been doing this for some time but I think your, your highlight must have been performing with artists such as the Spice Girls not that I'm a great fan but um, guys like Billy Ocean you know we, we grew up with with music from Billy Ocean and what was it like performing on an international stage with these kind of guys 
Being on stage with artists that have really had a successful career for so many years is just absolutely amazing. Um, artists like Billy Ocean is just unbelievable. A few years ago, two, three, five years ago, I performed together with Susan Boyle as well. And she was just, the whole structure built around her management wise and with agents, it's just, it's next level. And that does rub off on any artist. So I loved every second of it. So talking about Billy Ocean, he must have owned a Cobra. There was actually a song get out of my dreams and into my car and what other car <laughs> would you like to get into but a cobra so so talking about your, your your musical career you know a lot of a lot of artists in especially in south africa the pinnacle of their career is to to sing at a festival um you know with with one or two thousand people um you know festival goers listening to the music but you actually broke into the european market where you filled up stadiums how did that happen well since 2008, I've been working with an international agent, and I think that really contributed in a massive way because it opened up doors for me abroad. Um, in 2010, I performed at the World Cup soccer, football, one of the final games, and I performed in Germany, and I'll never forget it. It was literally mid-city, and there were half a million people present. So we had screens, we had sound, and then literally hundreds of meters away, you would have another sound system set up and more screens so that the people way at the back could actually see because they were so far away they couldn't see the actual stage. And it was quite special. I think those are the moments that you carry with you for the rest of your life. But in the same breath, I've got to add that in South Africa, festivals have really grown, they've expanded over the past years, and that is why even festivals like any boss, it's just, it's, it's magical, it's next level, and it's always a privilege being there. Nadine, a lot of guys being petrol heads, we born petrol heads, they remember their very first car that they bought and all the cars that they, that they subsequently owned. In your case, do you still remember the very first car you owned? When I was 15 years old, I bought myself a tour bus. At that time, it wasn't really standard procedure to have a bus on the road, or a, a very branded vehicle. And I think it was one of the best decisions I ever could have made. It was a Mercedes Sprinter 412 diesel. And I absolutely loved it. It was great for branding. It advertised the shows as we entered the towns. Um, and it was just great for establishing my, my career and how serious I was about it. But my first car, I only literally bought after 24. I got my first, my own license <laughs> only at the age of 24. So then I bought myself a BMW X3 in silver. It had a sunroof and I loved every kilometer in that car. Let's imagine you win the lotto, but not the local lotto, because the local lotto, there are cars in the world more expensive than the lotto. So <laughs> yes. if you win the local lotto, lotto, you'll have to pay in to buy your dream car. But let's say you win the most humongous amount of money. What Cobra would you buy? <laughs> <laughs> I love that question. My car that I would actually buy that I've always had in the back of my mind and always thought one day, one day when I'm old enough and rich enough to afford it, I would buy myself a Jaguar X-Type. It's got beautiful dainty lights, it's a classy car, it's got power and it's just a beautiful car to drive. I am actually a rebel at heart so I like something that's got power and that's got attitude. So Nadine, over the last couple of years, um with all your achievements, you've actually received the Guinness Book of Record record for being the world's tallest midget. <laughs> I see that has changed. <laughs> that has changed slightly. <laughs> Indeed it has, Heinrich. It's all the magic that you find in camera work. <laughs> Nadine, it was so lovely having you on our show. Thank you. We look forward to getting you in one of these cars and I'm going to hand you over to Wimtoki, one of our members, who will take you on a, your most exhilarating a ride ever and tell me do you know the cobra secret handshake i actually do i do Shh. Yes. <laughs>
the first thing, you become part of a community of like-minded individuals that all share a passion for Shelby, Carol Shelby's dream. To join the club, it's going to cost you less than a thousand rand a year. And in return, we offer you expertise from Cobra Builders. There's parts and accessories, second-hand parts and accessories available all the time. And you also get our valued club card. The card offers you discount at one of our partners, IQ, and also at Lavinia Wine Estates down in Cape Town. And with the, the sporadic growth of the club, we keep adding new partners to our, uh, to our card. And you can also join by bringing your car down to our annual concourse event. So how do you become a member? Very simple. Everything is online. You click on cobraclub.co.za and follow the prompts. You can also go and buy merchandise from our online shop, cobrashop.co.za. And then you can follow the Cobra Club on all the socials, including Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. So what you're waiting for, join today. After the break, see Nadine's reaction as Toki takes her for a very first ride in a Cobra. Cobra. that's interested in old motor cars. Yes. Um, nothing wrong with that. But if you've got a passion for a sports car, yeah. then you build a Cobra. How long does it take to build a Cobra? Well, it all depends on uh, the money. Yes. If you've got money available. Of course. Um, the time, of course, is also of the essence. Yes. Um, but anything between six months and two years. Sure. It's not like building a puzzle, eh? Like building a puzzle. <laughs> can someone buy this car from you or is there no price that they can buy this for? Uh, my personal car I will not sell right now <laughs> because it's, there's too much yes. sentiment in the car. Yes. Um, would you build another one though? I will build another yeah. one and maybe that one's for sale. I love the sound of the engine because it sounds like power, but I don't think there's power now. <laughs> uh, we're idling. But it's beautiful because when you drive in your enclosed vehicle, your sedan or your SUV, whatever it may be, you don't actually hear the engine of the car ever. You, you don't. Um, this, this gives you a feeling of freedom. Oh, absolutely. Do you have to adapt to not having side mirrors, only having a rear mirror? Uh, only a rear mirror. The, the, the problem, the hump on the back here, if you put a side mirror on, you have to put it on the window frame yes. uh, to be able to get, because the, the, the fender at the back is quite high and you can't really see anything in the rear mirror. Yes, that's true. But, um, oh, wow. This is just magnificent. I feel like waving to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yes! Oh, this is so beautiful. What a treat! I've heard of Cobra so many times and I've never taken the time to wow. actually just get into one because these days it's all about work, family, getting done what you need to get done, appointment after appointment and we've all become slaves to our phones. Yes, it's almost like a little bit of experience. It's almost a little bit like when you're on a motorbike. Yes. You can't pick up a phone when you're on a motorbike. And you really don't want to do it now either because of the wind. Because we can hear each other, but on a phone it would be a bit noisy. Yeah. But that's freedom, isn't it? It's just being cut off from all the drama on social media and on, you know, on, on cell phones and meetings. This is fabulous. Well, I'm, I'm 
good ride in the car. Thank you, it's uh, wonderful. I, I feel honored. Uh, I'm gonna let you feel the power now. Yes. In our next episode, we give you more insight into the Cobra Club of South Africa, their members and their builds. We also talk to rugby legend Vainant Willifier and take him for a ride in a Cobra. Good luck. I just got distracted and I'm going to go after the lag in the box. Guys, right. Is this the TV? Ah. This is the TV. Both of us. Ha ha ha. We'll have horses in the front and horses at the back. That's how quick this motor is. I uh, don't understand. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I thought in the Chevy had a baby and this is it. Yeah, it's a, it's a hybrid. B bastard child. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, looking at Billy, I, uh, Billy Idol. Um, Ocean. Alice Norway. In this video, in this one. Als ik dit geweest het, dat ik een beetje zwaar gedrinkt gestrand, dan zou mijn lever mijn cel lekker geel gemaakt hebben. Of ik kon je nog even blauw gaan vandaag. Vandaag na. Dan ga ik ze luisteren. Hier is een American muscle. Los uit je man. Female car owners start off with something basic. Bicycle. Wat is je beste car in die wereld volgens jou? En hoe komt ze die zeer koude? Geniaal man.